News for Midday starts now. Around one and a half billion people across the globe are bald or have some form of hair loss. Well, now a company in California has come up with what could be the solution, a helmet with lasers to stimulate hair growth. Dr. Stephen Hopping joining us to talk about that. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Richard. This is a big topic. I don't think there's a man alive who hasn't looked closely in the mirror to see what's going on up there, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so tell us about this helmet. Well, as you, as you point out, 60% of men at some point in their life have a problem with hair loss. 40% are women. So it is a big problem. And uh, we've always known that low-level lasers have, are helpful for hair growth. Well, this company has taken it to a new level. These are They have created this device, which I think we have a picture of. looks like a bicycle helmet. has 80 diode lasers uh, and it infuses laser energy into the scalp. Now what is that supposed to do? It's supposed to increase the microcirculation of the hair follicles and make the hair look healthier and to reduce hair loss. So is this something you would do at home? On your yeah, own? this is, uh, you know, we, we actually have these uh, in, in our offices, but no, this is something that people, people can buy. They can use it at their home. It's 20 minutes uh, twice a week. Uh, you can use it in the comfort of your home. Uh, it's well priced. It's under $1,000, uh, which is, other, is also pretty revolutionary in terms of, uh, you know, the pricing of a, of a laser type of technology. It's FDA. Uh, it's not FDA approved, it's FDA... Uh, pending approval? It's pending approval, it's safe. The FDA has looked at it as a safe device. They can't prove that it's growing hair. So more studies are needed, but there are other devices that are low-level laser technology that have had a really positive effect on hair. So it's really exciting. Now, it's not a hair transplant, and if you've lost your hair, you still have to go with traditional things. But there are other things we can do before we lose our hair. Uh, Things like uh, some medications, finasteride, Propecia, helps stop hair loss in 90% of men. Pretty remarkable. Has some side effects, so that's a concern. Uh, Rogaine, mono, uh, which is uh, for women and men, 50% response rate. So there are a lot of things we can do before we have to think about hair transplant. Uh, I think when, and when talking about hair transplant, a lot of people are concerned, is it going to look natural? How right. is it going to look when it comes out? Is there one method that yeah. just has better results? Well, you know, it's... The revolution in hair transplant has been the microfollicular graft. Now here's a lot, and now we do, instead of big plugs, which had 25 hairs and were very noticeable, we do one and two hair grafts, but we do thousands or 2,000 uh, in a session. So when it grows, it looks like natural hair. If you, if you see someone who has a hair transplant, that's a bad hair transplant. Right. Uh, it should be natural. So that's the that's a major step over the past 10 years. And part of it is kind of getting onto it before you really lose a lot of hair, right? Getting, sort of the, the, it on stealth, the stealth that's technique. The stealth you know, before you become too bald, start putting some hair in there. Yeah. And also we have these medical things which are helpful. And now we have the laser helmet, the Theradome, that's, uh, that potentially can reduce uh, uh, baldness to begin with. And so the medications, you say, which ones are, are best to take and, and which products are best to try at home on your own? Well, Rogaine, minox Minoxidil, you can buy over the counter. There's one for women, there's one for men. It's a topical solution that uh, it was a blood pressure medication that they found is helpful for hair loss. And it works in about 50% of patients. And it, it either thickens the hair or saves and slows the hair loss. Propecia is specifically for men, although there are postmenopausal women who who use it, but women cannot use it. 90% response rate, so very effective for stopping hair loss. Yeah. Great. Biotin is another thing you can take. It's a vitamin, uh, but uh, that's that's the major yeah. three. So plenty of options out there. Now, there are now a lot a new of one. new options, right. All right. Right. All right, Dr. Hopping, thanks so much. Appreciate all your insight. Have a great weekend.